Welcome back to Signalis. We just got the flashlight module, and we also have the shutter handle. So for now, let's use the flashlight to go into the dark rooms that I was never able to explore properly before. First one is a repair bay, just to the right here. Just gotta get past these fellows. It's fine, it's fine, fine. Yeah. That's not fine. Okay, that one's down. Wasn't there another one? There was, but I think it's still down, because I think I shot both of these when I first came in here. Now we can use this door. Oh, is this a shooting range? Yeah. Shotgun rounds. Oh, don't have room for the revolver ammo. Speaking of, where is the revolver? And what's this? More adhesive tape. I'm not sure if I have a use for that yet. Weapon case. Hmm. Is there something I can dump or use? Well, I suppose I could use my thermite flares. It really would be a waste to use them on the creatures in the other room, though, because I'm not going to be coming back here, I don't think. Hmm. I'm also tempted to shoot the targets. Ammo's so precious, though. I'm going to do it. Nothing. Just one more. Okay. Well, that was a waste. I only have four shots left. <laughs> I'm going to go back and come back with some more inventory space. There we go, made it back, and I've only got two items on me. I figured I didn't really need health for this. A little bit dangerous to go without health, but I really need a free inventory. I also swapped that pistol for a shotgun, because I was mostly out of <laughs> pistol rounds. So, some revolver, some adhesive tape, and a weapon case. Maybe this has a revolver in it. How do I open you? Secure storage box for pistol-sized firearms locked with a small padlock. EU K500S Einhorn Hunter. It's locked with a small padlock. And I can't think of anything to repair with this tape. Got everything stuffed away that I don't immediately need on the seventh level. We have the place where you need to use the Shutter gate handle, and then we also have a dark room here, the protector office. The shutter gate's the first thing on the way there, so let's hit up that first. Oh, right, you! I don't think the flashlight makes them see me any easier. Wait, where am I going? Down? Down. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh. And this one I burned, so it's not coming back. There we go. Oh, it's a save room. Peaceful. Owl key. Yes. I don't think I need that at the moment. Replica Overview, Euler. Simple Universal Light Replica, Owl. Type Generation 4, Low Cost General Purpose. Euler units are the backbone of the Usant Nation's workforce. Hmm. These elegant multipurpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. 
Yules are highly social and get along well with each other as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. How tall were they again? 175. Where was the L key used again? I think it's the next floor up. I think it was this door. But for now, let's head to the dark room. Down here in straight left. Whoa. Okay. Oh yeah, I killed them in the dark too. I hope they don't get up again. Not immediately. Seems to be absolutely nothing in here. Oh, there's someone at the end there. Island key. All oh, that goes in the painting. Calibri in the management office. One of the Calibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her and her and her illusions sitting inside the room, crying. Which one is the real one? I think it's because of that painting in there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal? Yeah, that's what we did. We did the feedback loop. We already encountered the Calibri. There's something very special about that island. Cradle of Humanity, Veneta. Hunter's Key? Oh my god, we have so many keys now. Where to now? I guess nothing on this floor. Nothing here needs a key. Oh wait, no, the island painting does. Yeah, let's head to the island painting. I've got these two lovelies to get past. Hmm. I could get past him by taking the pattern oster. That would take me almost directly to a locked door. Wait, workshop hallway. That's probably the workshop key, which I don't have at the moment. Right? Hunter and island key. No, I don't have it. Okay. Let's go this way then. Maybe they do see me easier with the light. Yes, got them both. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, up here. Yeah, this is where the Calibri was. Workshop key. Please don't be right there. Okay. Ah! 
Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't have seen me if I didn't have my light on. I should turn it off, generally. Should I go back down to the pattern at? Pattern Oster? How much... How much inventory space do I have? I only have one slot. Hmm. I'm gonna go down here, just... Because this monster is coming towards me and it's freaking me out. Well, we have a safe spot in here, so... I'm just using inventory management. You know what? I wonder if the hunter's key, which is to a small padlock, is for the gun case. It is! It's the revolver, yes! Oh, look at that snub-nosed revolver. That's the one that I thought looked like the end was chopped off. That barrel's so short. A short-barreled, double-action, six-shot revolver fires 12mm high-power ammo, high recoil, strong knockback. High damage knocks back enemies and shields with ease. Oh, so I might want to use that in the shielded ones. I haven't tried to fight those yet. How much revolver ammo do I have? I think I have a decent amount, actually. 12 plus the 6 that it comes with. It's pretty good. I definitely want to save that for high value targets, though. Not common ones. So far, I've been able to run past that one shieldy, though, pretty well, so I think I'm just going to continue to ignore it. Let's head down on the pattern, Oster. Go to the workshop. Oh, should I have gone up? Oh yeah, here it is. Replica Known Issues Part 2. That's the same beginning as the other one. The star. Despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit, or promoting a unit low in status, can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. It's recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. <laughs> I just love the idea of military weapons as fetish objects. I mean, yeah. They'll occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishment. Jesus. Storch. Storch units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Sorch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Ooh. Small radio broadcasting unit set up to broadcast the tape deck's input signal on frequency 142. Is there a tape in here? An audio, take, uh, audio tape deck unit wired up to the broadcasting unit. If I had an audio cassette, I could probably have its contents broadcast on the radio. That... Hmm. That might be for broadcasting it to the, um, the Falcon unit and the thing it was clutching, the owl canister. That's probably what it's for, but I don't have an audio cassette yet. I now I have the L key. But there's also multiple places to check out now that I have a light. All the way down. Not here. Here.
Yeah, there's the stork dorm down here, and there's the Adler bedroom up here. Let's go to the stork bedroom. Or sorry, was that the bedroom? No, dorm. Oh, there's one. Yeah, no, the flashlight definitely makes them see me easier. Oh, shit. Oh, there's one with a shield. Hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, God, there's a third one. Hell no. I need better equipment for that. Yeah. Let's check out the Adler bedroom. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh, right, right. This is where we found the flashlight module. It was lit up by the flashlight module just being on on the table. So we've actually been here. We just need the eagle key. In that case... I need powerful weapons for the stork dorm. Or to use the owl key up above. Got everything I need to survive in the stork dorm. And I also have the owl key. Let's go ahead and use it. A tall mirror stands in the corner of the room. Broken music cassette. Where's the cassette we need? But we need to fix it. Maybe the tape is used for that. Portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. Yeah, someone didn't like the... Oh, right! We read a note about this, didn't we? Yeah, some of them, like, they were complaining about their neighbors constantly playing the same song again and again. I think I need that repair patch. Yeah, I'm on yellow. Oh, there we go. Now I'm blue. A looping multi-track magnetic audio tape cassette. The tape inside the cassette is torn. I need to repair the magnetic tape inside the cassette before it can be played again. Yeah, that is probably what the tape is for. Let's go do that. Combine with the tape. Yes! Into the workshop. Let's play that cassette. Hmm, is it playing? I suppose probably. I can check by checking on the frequency. It was 142, I think. Yeah. It's a lovely piece of music. Got 
gonna turn that off for now though because we're about to go into the stork room uh dorm so i have shotgun and revolver i probably should have brought some health oh why do i have the stun prod on me i didn't mean to have that ah well yeah shotgun for the little ones and then revolver for the big one let's go shotgun first went really really well only used two shotgun and one revolver and I got hit once not bad hope there's something good in here shotgun rounds yes please Healing. Stork. Security Technician Controller Replica Stork. Generation 5 Combat Lead Unit. 240 centimeters. Each cadre of Protector Security Technicians is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the Stork type. One of the tallest replica models, thanks to their extended legs, Storks figuratively and literally keep a constant bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Oh, we just loaded the one round into our revolver. I could use the repair spray. It's kind of a waste. I'm going to have to come back here if I want to get everything anyway, even if I do use it. So there wasn't anything vital in here, but there's some good stuff and interesting stuff. A document about the storks. Man, if they wake up, though, next time I come in here, oh boy. Um, where does that leave me? Oh, I need the owl canister. Yeah, the falk box, which is actually on this floor. Let's go get that. Actually, we don't have room for it. If I go up a level, then I can get to the piano room. Yeah, let's go do that. Now I can grab everything. Let's head to the box. Oh, hi. Yeah, they come out of the ground there. Hi, bye. Oh, 
Hold on, is that... No. Yes, please. Oh, that was the Fox Diary. Oh, that's so cool. Hummingbird key. So peaceful and sad. This folk. So, the hummingbird. I think this was the library key. This was the eagle. This must be the mine shaft. So maybe this is the hummingbird? Let's go try it. I need to turn off my damn light. Yeah, that is the hummingbird. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I can just make it there. Known issues part one. Euler. Euler's tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Yule dorms as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Yule's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Yule's will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Aww. It's weird that they speak about these unit, the uh, Yule units as, well, units. <laughs> and they speak about them in, they speak about them in the same way that you would describe, like, wild animal behavior, you know? They're just people. I mean, they're, yeah, they're just people. And we're a Yule unit, right? I think we are. Yeah, we have been staring at ourselves quite a few times in mirrors. So the persona degradation, that's the thing that shows up in our diagnostics, I think. I'll show you in a second. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate... Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, that was Euler, so this is Aras. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share the judgment, uh, this judgment with their entire cadre. Uh, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Aras got along best, get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly, and have a talent for reading Aras's expressionless faces. In many facilities, Aras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and in walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels, it's not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. First, I don't know if it's ever been mentioned what type of unit, um, was it Elena is, the person we're looking for? But I wouldn't be surprised if they were one of these, Aras, because they get along best with Yules, which is what we are. And also, they'll construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and in walls. Maybe those are the units we've seen coming out of the floors, then? This must be Aras units? I gotta stop calling them units, damn it. Those must be Aras. And unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It's not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. That is so ominous and creepy. I don't know if that's how, like... Ah, never mind, I don't want to think about it. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of. 
ideally colorful flowers or trees. It's so fascinating that all of these different types that are based on, I, I guess, if they're of a type, like a Yule, then I, they're all based on the same imprint, the same, like, starting imprint that they took from a single person, right? I mentioned one of them was taken from a ballet dancer for Yules. It's so interesting that all of their, I guess, quirks, you could say, are based on that one original person. Just one person had a thing about looking at themselves in the mirror and what else was it? And social interaction and keeping a tidy appearance. I guess because that was the personality of the original imprint. And now all the Yules kind of have that in them. That's so interesting. Hmm, the Calibri. Generation 6 high-tech bioresonance specialist. A marvel of modern technology, the Calibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector commando's Falk unit is aided by a something of Calibri unit adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonance signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Calibris are one of the most effective protector units able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Let's not pick that up just yet. How many free spaces do I have? Hmm, just one. Oh, this was the um, personality stabilization thing I was talking about. This. What is this? This shows like a red mark. Oh god, does something bad happen when you take damage? Like, even though I'm healed all the way, is there some... Some extra, like, bad effect that stays with you forever? Hmm. I hope I never find out. Equal key, yes. Calibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler, he's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an uh Elster unit working at Sierpinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay. Initiating loop back. There we go. I think... I think I meant to chase the frequency around on my own and not wait for instructions. Oh man, these things are unnerving. Overwhelming. It looks like their head has just turned into a giant... tumor. And they said that's what was happening, right? Like cancerous growths is... what was happening inside the body with this sickness? I just loaded one of the shells in. Can't pick up the other one. Postbox key. Okay, so I need to go dump some stuff. Oh 
yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here to pick up too. Yeah, light off. To free up space, I came here with nothing but my flashlight. Not even a gun. That is terrifying, let me tell you. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we have the Eagle Key and the Post Box Key to use.